Welcome to the video. It should be a pretty good one. My hope is that it turns into like a Nate Figueroa feel to it. Hopefully I said that right. Nate Figs on a lot of his social media, Nate Figueroa. His link to his channel will be down below. And I want it to be the feel of his video, but no, I don't mean his appetite. But that would be nice, wouldn't it? And not the cool drone footage that he gets because that is pretty awesome. If you haven't seen his videos, make sure you go check out that link. But I mean, in the way that he structures his videos, it kind of edits them, but it keeps your attention and I really like that style. I'm gonna give it a try. If you guys do like it, please hit that thumbs up. There's a few topics I kind of want to talk about, so it's like a Q&A, but it's not a Q&A because I didn't ask you guys questions, but I've gotten a lot of questions and I kind of just want to inform you guys on some things, but make it more interesting so you can have some workout footage in there and just kind of throw some edits. Hopefully you guys do enjoy that. Without further ado, let's get started. Cue that intro in three, two, one. Walk like I built this tent, steps so light, I barely touch the ground, everybody wants to know. Again with the hair today, flyaways, but thank goodness, Friday, getting a haircut, can't wait. Anyway, first thing I want to talk about is, this is really the bells. This is really the last beach prep episode you'll see for a few days, because obviously tomorrow's episode, if you've been following along, will be like a birthday special, and then the one following that will be two days after because then we're going to move to every other day for videos. So that's the first thing I'm going to talk about. set up the camera. Next thing I want to talk about is really for my new subscribers. Just a few background things about me so you guys can kind of be caught up a little bit without doing a whole about me video. Almost 5'11", about 5'10 and a half. Always been the tallest, always been athletic, played three sports in high school. Played Division I soccer in the Big East at Seton Hall University. As a goalie, because like I said, I was always the tallest, so I've always loved sports. I've been tracking macros for over two years now. I'm coming up on a good year of actually working out consistently. When I was playing soccer in college, we worked out, yes, and lifted, but it was very minimal, and it was just focused on soccer type of thing. So never deadlifted, never did a bench. We did squats, but very, very minimal. But since then, I've kind of focused on doing it on my own, so I've been more consistent with that. So I've tracked macros longer than I've actually worked out. I battled anorexia before, so I've come back a lot stronger since then. So I know what it's like for a lot of girls out there who have dealt with that. Also, I get a lot of questions about what app do I track my food in. It's My Macros Plus. It is such a great app. I like it more than My Fitness Pal, and I have used that because you can be more accurate and more precise in what you are tracking. The only thing is, it has a smaller database, but it's so easy to go into My Fitness Pal. Search what you're eating, say you're in a restaurant, get what My Fitness Pal is, and put it right into my Macros Plus app. So I'll put the name down of the app down there, but I get a lot of questions about that.
next thing I would talk about is body image, you know, holding some water weight and the scale versus how you actually feel. Because right now, if you have been following the, the episodes in order and you watch my full day of eating, then you know I only ate like 1,700 calories yesterday. And with all the exercise I'm doing, I'm holding a lot of water right now. I um, haven't showed you guys my weigh-ins in the morning because there's nothing different really. They've either stayed the same or I've gone up a, like 0.2 pounds here or there because I'm holding a lot of water now. I think that's why sometimes I feel bloated because like yesterday, I didn't eat until 12 or one o'clock and I wasn't hungry throughout the whole day. It's because my body is holding on to everything else, holding on to water, holding on to what I ate the day before because it doesn't know the next time it's gonna get enough food to get through all the cardio and exercise that I'm doing. But today what I did was I had my normal breakfast as soon as I got up and I wasn't hungry at first but once I started eating got my appetite back feeling a lot better today like food wise I do not feel bloated I feel hungry got my next meal there from school yes being in a deficit is going to help you but if you're doing a lot of work and not eating enough your body's going to store that as fat and energy because it doesn't know the next time it's going to get it I'm gonna throw some pictures up on the screen. The reason I'm showing you guys this is because these pictures were taken in the same place that some of the pictures I showed you recently were. So this is the gym at Seton Hall, the, their bathroom. That's where I take them. So the lighting's the same, getting my tan back finally. So that way you can kind of see my progression over the years. So that was this morning, only one meal in me. It was probably an hour and a half after my breakfast. It was before my workout, so no pump, no nothing. And even though I'm holding a lot of water, I need to tell myself, you know, just wait till how much leaner I'm gonna look when I get the water down. People say like water weight, what is that? Like, do I need to stop drinking water? No. Water weight is like what your body will hold on to when you have like a lot of sodium, things like that. It just holds on to everything underneath your skin. You'll feel a little bit bloated maybe in your face. Your stomach will be a little bit bloated. And if you're not getting enough nutri nutrients either, your body's going to hold on to that because it doesn't know the next time it's going to get it. That's kind of like what I was struggling with. You know, I was thinking in my head like I need to see results on the scale, but that's not really it. You know, see physical results and that's what I've been able to see. Just looking at those pictures today, that was today. Wednesday. So what I'm just trying to say is you still need to eat enough in order to lose weight. If you lower your calories and you are doing tons of cardio and lifting a lot and just your overall calorie expenditure throughout the day is a lot and you're not eating enough, your body's going to hold on to it because it's saying I'm doing a lot of work. I don't know the next time I'm going to get food, whatever, water. So I'm going to hold on to it until I get it next time. And it stores it as fat, unfortunately. And then when you are working out, it'll pull energy from other things, your muscles, it'll pull from that. So in my head, I was thinking this whole week, like, you know, I have my birthday weekend in the city, I'm going to eat. Friday, I'm going to eat. The weekend, I probably will. So I was like, oh, I just need to not even doesn't necessarily decrease my calories. I wasn't even thinking that, but I was just going out throughout the day and I just wasn't hungry. So every day my calories were a little less and less and less. And that's why I didn't see the results on the scale. So what I'm doing today, Wednesday, is carbs are right back up. Protein is normal. Fats are minimal. Don't feel bloated. And so Thursday in the city, I'm going to eat whatever. Not going to track. Friday it is my birthday. The only meal I'm not going to track is dinner because I know I'm going out for that. But that's all I want to talk about in this part. I'm going a little bit too long on that. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this style of video and I'll see you later. talk with sunglasses on or do you guys like it without on off i'll go off
I think that's better so you guys can see me. But anyway, the next thing I want to talk about is appearance. Now I don't mean are you skinny, are you fat, are you bodybuilder, are you like power lifter. I'm not talking about your body structure, I'm talking about your appearance, how you look, how you dress, how you present yourself in the gym. And a lot of this kind of goes towards girls, but this can really be for anyone. Now this is what I wore to the gym. A t-shirt and orange shorts. There's so many people, especially in the fitness industry, whether you know, you're know you posting pictures on Instagram or making YouTube videos, that you need to have the latest name brand. You need to be in a tank top and booty shorts or yoga pants if you're a girl. And that's just not the case. I make YouTube videos every single day. I go to the, into the gym every single day and I really could care less about what I look like. Like hair, still kind of sweaty from today. Same clothes, shorts and t-shirt. It really shouldn't matter what you're wearing as long as you are putting in the work and getting into the gym. The gym is where you are bettering yourself. You know, you're not gonna squat more if you have an alphalete shirt on. You're not gonna squat more if you have an ever forward shirt on. You're not gonna squat more if you have a soccer tournament shirt on. So too many times people, you know, they'll favorite people who have the name browns and you know, they spend money on the top things or you know, they'll skip over people who just go in shorts and t-shirt or a girl that doesn't wear makeup into the gym and for you girls out there, just be yourself. Just have fun. Bring your friends into the gym. And if you've got a smile on your on your face and you are lifting and you're enjoying it, that's all that matters. Don't think you need to go spend all this money to get the followers that you want, to get the attention that you want. Don't feel like you need to go and put on makeup to go to the gym because it just it's not necessary. But that's what the standard is nowadays, unfortunately. And you know, it takes one person at a time to change that. To say, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna go into the gym and what I went to bed in. It doesn't matter what I'm wearing, shorts and t-shirt. I'm going in there and I'm gonna get a good workout and I'm gonna better myself. That's all that should matter, you know what? I squat, but do I have squatting shoes? No, hopefully getting some for my birthday. My parents are watching this. But you know, it wasn't something I went out and bought, bought as soon as I started lifting. That's just what I wanna talk about, appearance. Don't worry about having the latest, greatest thing. Enjoy yourself, that's what it's really all about. That's gonna do it for this part, and I'll see you guys later. As you can see, I'm at soccer practice, and what better way to spend my last day of working with these little kids than to be at practice. Definitely going to miss them, that is for sure. Real quick, just wanna wrap up this video and I was thinking about everything I had already said in this video and sometimes when I'm in the moment and I'm talking, I kind of forget to mention things or I don't explain it exactly the way I want to. So I'm gonna go back real quick and just clarify a few things. Appearance, don't get me wrong, it's so nice to have, you know, I wear Under Armour, but my school is sponsored by Under Armour. It's nice to have the name brand things but it doesn't define who you are, but I am all for supporting name brand companies. So you take Everford, for instance, love the story behind that. So I, of course, if I can spend the money on something like that, then I'm going to represent that because I think that's a great thing. So yes, I'm going to wear name brand things, but uh, it's for the right reasons and I don't make sure, oh my gosh, I need to have this shirt washed so I can wear it and take this fancy picture so people are going to like me. And also, the pictures you saw, of me today, there's a point of don't really care how I look. Orange shorts and a pink sports bra. Did I make sure it's like a padded sports bra or a Victoria's Secret or short shorts? No, didn't care about that. So just, that's the thing. Don't worry so much about your appearance. Just enjoy life. That's really it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy how I kind of set it up. Tomorrow's video, April 22nd, will be a special birthday edition. So it's not really anything to do with beach prep, but definitely important to me and I hope that you guys do watch it until the end. It's only 10 minutes, so please watch it till the end. And if you do like it, hit that thumbs up. That really will help me. And then after that, you'll probably see another video on Sunday and then every other day after that. But thank you guys so much for the support. I really, really do enjoy it. Would not be here if it wasn't for you guys. And there's anything out there that you want to succeed in, find a way to do it and you will get it done. I'm gonna go back, watch them practice for one last time. Enjoy tomorrow's episode. I will be home enjoying my birthday then.
But with that being said, thank you guys again. I really can't say that enough. But like, comment, share, subscribe if you did enjoy this video. And comment below if you like this style of video. Again, Nate's channel will be down below. But thank you guys so much. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you have not already. I've already said that a thousand times. I'm going to stop talking. But as always, have a great day.